So one of the things that we can do inside of uh, computer science is something known as natural language processing. And the entire idea of natural language processing is that we're starting to look at sort of the structure of how we as people talk. Uh, one of the things that we can introduce in this idea is something known as regular expressions. Now, what are regular expressions? Well, if we look at a word, say for example, the word sing. Sing has four characters in it, S-I-N-G. One of the things that we can do is we can start to define uh, each one of these as a way for us to kind of look at this in a pattern. First we see that our word has an S, and then it kind of follows with an I, N, and a G. One of the things we can do is we can now say, let's kind of take this regular expression and let's look at sort of the pattern that we want to kind of be confirming. In our case, I said that we had S, I, N, G. But let's uh, see some of the other kind of tenses of uh, the word sing and some other kind of variations on it. So what do we sing? Well, we sing a song. We can sang a song, or we sang, or, or we sung a song. So one of the commonalities you should be noticing is the second letter in each word was really the only difference in the word. So what can we do? Well, instead of me specifying out each word uh, in uh, sort of the examples we've used in the past, we could treat this as if it was a string. And if I kind of did something like this, I could separate each one into a list, x equals these four words. And then I could go in and say, uh, if song in x. Song is in x, so this would be a true statement, versus something like cat. So how can we start to uh, maybe be a little bit more uh, cleaner with this. Inside of regular expressions, what we can do is we can actually start to separate out what we're looking at. So in our case, we're looking at the structure of the word. In our case, we have an S, we have a G, an N, and we have a G. But this part is sort of a, a blank space. Is that almost like it can change? It can uh, be different kinds. And one of the things that we can do with this is we can introduce something like the wild card. Now the wild card, this dot that we're seeing, wild card, this allows me to say that now anything can appear right here. I don't care what, but it's going to match sort of the structure that I'm looking for. So in our case, sing works, song works, sang works, and sung works. But we do kind of run into a slight issue, something like SNG or S3NG, that also technically speaking works because even though the three is not uh, a letter, the wildcard does not necessarily care. It's any one of them. So how can we uh, bring this to approach? And that is now where we start to introduce the RE library inside of Python. 